Hello and welcome to the first episode of our tutorial series on how to make vehicle skins for LSPDFR, a mod for GTA 5. Uh, Paint.net, you guys have heard me talk about it over the last few years. This is the photo editing program that I use on a daily basis. It does everything for the skins, everything for lighting textures, uh, enhancing photos, that kind of stuff. This program is fantastic. It's free from the developers. Um, it's an open source program. Definitely check it out. Uh, getpaint.net is the link to their website. Definitely important to use that one. There's other sources. Uh, even Microsoft has it in their store now and they charge for it. No reason to pay for it when it's free from the developers. So on this screen, you'll see I have the ad blocker on. That does help me narrow down which one is the correct one to use. If I pause, ad blocker. You get a bunch of click here, start here, download here. It's just easier to use that. Very clear. This is the one you're looking for. As of the time that I'm recording this, paint.net version 4.2.13 is the current version. Go ahead and click on that. It brings you up to this window. I don't think anyone runs a computer with less than a gigabyte of RAM, <laughs> but if you need it, there's the system requirements just for all clarification. Uh, other than that, it does have Microsoft's .NET Framework 4.7.2. It's automatically installed with the program. This may look a little confusing, but fortunately, it's narrowed down to two options. You've either got the paid version from Windows 10 through the Microsoft Store, or download it now through this website. It's free. It's from the developers. That's the biggest part to me is that it's from the developers. <laughs> All right, so here you go. This is the download page. You have the free download now. That is the correct spot. Go ahead and click on that. It'll instantly download this zip folder right here. And that zip folder contains one file. It is the install file. That will take care of the rest of it. You hit that button. It'll go through a couple prompts. You can choose where you want to have it installed. And you're all set. I mean, it's very straightforward, gets you through it very quickly. So definitely worth taking a look. Once you've got that installed, what I, and part of the reason I want to continue with this video is the program by itself can be a little bit limited because it is a free program that's put out there. Something better than Microsoft's Paint. The way I use this for all the graphics and stuff that I'm working on is I use these right here. This is all through forums.getpaint.net. This is on the same website. In fact, if I go back one page, if you scroll down here past documentation, plugins. Talks about it, there are a number of plugins that have been made available and that may be downloaded on our forums. These plugins add new effects and the ability to handle new file types. You may browse and download the plugins here. You click on that, it'll bring you up to the forum page. Very straightforward, you guys have all used forums before. Looks a lot like uh, lcpdfr.com's page. <laughs> so with this page here, when you go through and click on them, it'll open it up to what people have made. I'm gonna minimize this to two that I use on a daily basis. Uh, Magix here on the left, he used to make individual files, they both did, and they decided to just put all of their files in one pack. On the left here, we've got 78 plugins in one pack. But he has a long list of files, and he I've been using his since the very beginning. But very useful there. Uh, one reason I originally tried Magix is because he has oblique. That'll allow you to tilt text left or right. Instead of just italics where it's right, you can manipulate the text so that you can have it being as if the car is moving forward, the text will match left and right versus having it only leaning one way. So very useful in my opinion. I would say check it out. The installs on them are both really straightforward. They give you clear instructions in their post. Just do what they say. And I've never had any problem with it. To show how useful these things are, if I go to effects, you see any of these puzzle pieces here. That indicates that it is a uh, plugin. You can see plugin dream, contour. Uh, if I go into something like objects, 
every one of these is a plugin, so that whole section would be gone. I use Outline all the time. I like Drop Shadow, Devil, some very useful ones. Okay, as you see here, Outline Object, Bolt Bait made this one. If I go to Distort, go to Oblique, it doesn't specifically say in that same format, but that one is from Magic. All of these with puzzle pieces. Wouldn't have it otherwise. So, plugins are awesome, they do amazing things, open up this program to do so much more. Uh, it also affects adjustments and that kind of stuff. So definitely, if you're liking what you're seeing, feel free to check this program out, check out these plugins, and follow along with this series. Check out my channel, see what you like, and I will see you guys on the next one.